Hey guys, and welcome to Gilly Air. Today I'm sitting outside Gilly Air Divers and Freedivers. In the next three days, I'm going to be doing a level two freediving course it's with my instructor Mikael Tollet from France. I'm going to introduce you to the world of freediving. A lot of you probably don't realize that people can dive up to 30 meters, up to 50 meters, or even over 100 meters on one breath of air under the water. So in this video, we're going to explore freediving more, and welcome to Gilly Air. What a beautiful evening. It's the morning of day one of my course and I'm just about to meet my instructor and see what we're going to be doing today. Super excited to be learning the next level up of freediving. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? How are you? Very good. How are you? Very good. You can expect to go quite deep actually. It's good. I hope you reach for 30. Then uh, you can expect also to discover your, a little bit more your body the symptoms, uh, how your body reacts in a, in a, in a situation of uh, hurt to breathe, your diaphragm body tells you you want to breathe but you still have enough oxygen to stay under. Awesome. Look forward to it. Sound like a good challenge. Yeah. <laughs> you do it, man. You, okay. you're both this is good. Alright, so I can use those ones. Uh, what's the, it's actually smaller, smaller volume. Okay. It's good. So we we'll take a, a breath like if it was our last breath, ready? After sorting out the equipment that I will use for my course, Mikhail taught me some upper body stretches that will better prepare my rib cage and lungs for the increased pressure when I start diving to a greater depth later in the day and later in the course. Remember before taking back your breath when you're like pull it down and then you can feel pressure here that's why it needs to be done easy a little bit after the stretching session and a quick pull session which I'll cover later in this video it was time to get in the boat and head for the ocean At the start of our first session, we did some warm-up dives. I was doing free immersion, that's where I'm just going down hand over hand to a depth of 10 meters. At 10 meters, you can just hold onto the weight and hang if you feel comfortable. When you're ready, you can return gracefully to the surface and fill your lungs with some strong recovery breaths. After the warm-up dives, I was feeling much more comfortable in the water and we put the weight down to 20 meters. Now to get to 20 meters, I used constant weight technique. So that is finning. And I managed to fin all the way down to 20 meters, turn at the bottom and then fin back to the surface.
On the way home we stopped at a really cool dive site just off the north end of Gili Meno and we got to see lots of turtles. Now one of the best things about free diving is going down and waving at the scuba divers as you swim past them. Most people don't realize that you can free dive just as deep as you can scuba dive if not a lot deeper. Day two now. Yesterday I was able to dive down to 20 meters quite comfortably. I did that about five different times and it was really good for me just to get the hang of equalizing again um, and get the hang of like holding your breath that long, going down, just hanging on the end of the rope. It's really nice and calm and still when you do that and it just gets you the confidence to hold your breath deep for longer. Um, today we're going to step that up a bit more and I'm going to learn some advanced equalizing techniques it's called the mouth fill or frenzel technique and that allows you to equalize your ears beyond the point where you've still got enough air to actually click your ears so when you go down below about 30 meters your lungs are compressed so much that there's not enough air to equalize today I should be allowed to dive up to 30 meters if I'm able to do that we'll just see how I go Hi. A very famous freediver uh, from Italy says that when you go scuba diving, you look around. When you go freediving, you look inside. You have to know how to rescue someone who do a blackout, or to support some, some, uh, somebody after a loss of motor control, or taking someone back up from 15 meters when, uh, when somebody blackout at depth. After free diving today for a couple of hours, I'm pretty tired. Uh, it really takes it out of you because you are going so deep and experiencing like, a lot of pressure and it's quite physical as well um, just to get down there and come back up. So I'm exhausted. I'm probably going to go have a nap now, not going to lie. Today I managed to go to 25 meters. Uh, my personal best is 27, so I'm getting pretty close. And I went to 25 twice and 23 once um, I'm very comfortable after yesterday going to 20 meters and so it was quite good today just to step it up a little bit and go another five meters deeper and then hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to dive to maybe 27 or 30 we'll just see So yeah, uh, at Gilead Diver, uh, we do mostly scuba diving and free diving courses. We are on Gilead, which is a very nice place to do both. And the chance we have here is like the, the conditions are perfect. So if you are headed to Southeast Asia and want to try some free diving or scuba diving, I highly recommend Gilead Divers. Their friendly staff and awesome atmosphere around the dive center makes for a really enjoyable time. And their location on Gilly Air Island, as Michael put it, is absolutely perfect. Day three, and this morning we're going back into the swimming pool and we're going to be doing some static apnea. So that's basically how long you can hold your breath for 
underwater just just sitting here not moving and then after that we're going to do dynamic apnea which is swimming the length of the pool I have to swim a certain amount of distance to be able to pass the course <laughs> I managed to do 3 minutes 14 static apnea with your head just in the water, it's super relaxed and I managed to do 60 metres which is 4 laps of this pool here. Shortly we're going to go back out into the ocean and do our last deep water session. Once again I did two warm up dives and then it was time to try and dive deep. I had two attempts at diving to 30 meters, one of them I made it to 27 and then I couldn't equalize my ears anymore, I had to return to the surface. And then on my second attempt I managed to make it all the way safely to 30 meters and then back to the surface. If I don't have the ocean close by, I'm, I, I feel sad at some point. When I'm free diving, when I'm underwater, holding my breath, I, I, I just feel great. It's just a, a wellness sensation of wellness. Yeah. How deep can, can you uh, dive? I'm not a competitive diver. I, I, I can go only to 50 meters, which is not that deep. It's nice, but I'd like to do better. As you saw uh, a few days ago, you're already quite good. And uh, I guess uh, just uh, with a, a few more years of training and you, you'll, be, you'll be at my level with no problem. You need to be aware of uh, the sea conditions. As you know, uh, in your place in, in New Zealand, so you have rough sea and current. Every time you, you go free diving, you need to speak with locals to uh, to make sure that it's 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 safe to go where you want to go I finished my course and passed which is great definitely the highlight was diving to 30 meters today um, that's a personal best for me last time was 27 and 30 meters under the water on one breath of air is quite significant but also can't forget that some people dive to 120 or 30 meters on one breath of air so that's another 100 meters below what I did on exactly the same amount of air it's just a matter of training your body to be able to handle the pressure and equalize and conserve your oxygen and hopefully I inspired you to at least get into the water and maybe even try some free diving what would you say to someone considering free diving for the first time I would say it's a good idea <laughs> <laughs> it's a good idea. Like, uh, people who consider freediving are, uh, I guess, a little bit more adventurous than uh, other people because uh, they are they are challenging themselves. So, hope you enjoyed this video, and until our next adventure, thanks for watching. Bye.